hi, hello, bonjour. What's up, what's up? So today's video is going to be another testing out Pinterest things. But the theme is going to be weird Pinterest projects. I feel like there's a huge trend right now going on with like DIY science experimentation type things. Also today's video is a collab with the lovely Haley Pham. She is like so spunky and fun. She has like an awesome personality, super upbeat. And she also does like dance videos and stuff like that. And over on her channel, she's going to be doing a story time. So yeah, definitely go check out Haley's video after you watch this one. Definitely subscribe to her and tell her that your girl Savannah sent you. All right, you guys, that is it for this intro. And let's test out these weird thingies from Pinterest. Figure out the rest. So I don't know about you guys, but I've seen these DIY galaxy jars all over Pinterest, so I wanted to try it out myself. So what you're going to need is a jar, and then you're going to have to fill that a third of the way with water, then add some tempera paint, glitter, and then just kind of like scrunch up or pull apart cotton balls and just put them at the bottom and really try to pack those in there. And then you're just going to repeat this process until the whole entire jar is full. <laughs> I said jar in a weird way. Um, but I actually added white paint for the second layer. And then for the third layer, I ended up adding in red paint just because I wanted it to look different. But my dollar store literally didn't have any like purple or pink or anything like that. I think that it still turned out pretty cute. It's just that I think it would have been cuter if I got like purple paint. But yeah, if you're into galaxy stuff and you just want like another room decor piece and you think that this is cute, I highly suggest trying it out because it's really cheap, it's actually really easy, and it potentially can look very pretty if you use the right colors. But yeah, as you can see here, the red kind of looks weird. It almost reminds me of one of those summer popsicles, which is kind of cool, but it's not the look I was going for. I just added in some white uh, paint to try to make it look more pink, but yeah, it just didn't turn out as well. So for the silly putty, it required two tablespoons of cornstarch and then one and a half tablespoons of dish soap. And when I did this, it just came out all crumbly and not like silly putty, silly putty at all. So I tried out the exact same recipe one more time and it still didn't work out for me. It was just kind of like very goopy and just kind of gross. <laughs> um, but maybe the portions were off and it might work if you had like different measurements. So this last DIY is actually super cool and you guys will probably have all the ingredients at home but you just take a jar you fill it all the way to the top well almost because you need a little bit of room but then in a separate jar you just mix two tablespoons of oil and then you add in food coloring and then mix it into those like little droplets and then pour that into the jar and then there'll be like little mini fireworks like it's really 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 cool this is a speeded up version of it but it's like pretty awesome. And then I tried it out with blue dye and it worked as well. And guys, overall this was just like a really fun experiment that you should try at home if you like science experiments. Okay, bye. Guys, so what did you think of this video? Will you be trying out any of these DIYs? And do you want me to continue doing this series? And if you do, what DIYs do you want me to test? Also, in case you didn't know, I came out with a jewelry collection with love gems and I am wearing one of the pieces right now. And this is what it looks like on, so it's like quite a longer necklace and it's like super cute, you guys. Like, woohoo. So do not forget to go over and check out Haley's channel and give her some love. All right, you guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.